The importance is great, but their service is even greater. Vietnam veterans are being recognized all this week in Eureka. Sam Matheny joins us with the way they're being honored. Risking a life for another, it's the ultimate sacrifice. An Army soldier, Terry Dwight Moore, was one of the 3,000 Illinoisans who gave the ultimate sacrifice. His name is also on this traveling war memorial wall. Harold Halfritz fought in the Vietnam War in the Army from 1968 to 1969. He was wounded twice in battle and received a Purple Heart. He was selected to speak at the opening ceremony of the Wall That Heals and says remembering other veterans was his duty. Well, the name of their lost loved one is permanent. People can see that that individual family member, that loved one that was lost in combat, served and fought to protect and preserve freedom. The Wall That Heals is dedicated for the more than 52,000 men and women who lost their lives throughout the Vietnam War. Located at the Maple Lawn Home Senior Living Facility in Eureka through Sunday, the 347-foot moving wall travels across the nation. It has 36 destinations, and Eureka is the only stop in Illinois this year. It was kind of a, a breathtaking you know, moment as they walked up to the wall uh, and then to be able to experience that. And this is their time to, to heal, um, go through that process and, and be honored for their service. But for Fritz, the wall that heals isn't just a name. The wall truly healed him, and he wants it to do the same for others. I hope that it brings them a bit of closure. It's important to have it available to the community uh, in terms of uh, a, a, piece, a place to come to for peace. The wall will remain open through Sunday at 2 p.m. at Maple Lawn Homes, open for 76 consecutive hours. In Eureka, Sam Matheny, 25 News.